Hello there, and welcome back, my friends, and welcome to the floor. Uh, the bench is behind me. Um, I have a bunch of P Bandai that showed up, and I already had a few already uh, in the stash. And uh, I rarely, even though they're in the background, I rarely go through some. I had a lot of people ask recently about the uh, many of the P Bandai, uh, some of the unique kits, not the standard ones that uh, Bandai releases or other companies. So I figured I'd go through them quick. I figured I'd I cut open. I already got this box open. I'll we'll cut open this one, and then I'll show you some of my stash. Mostly the unique uh, Gundam base, P Bandai, and uh, the Ban. I got some of them, and I'll, I'll just show them quick. Um, we'll go over them one by one. I'll just put them up here and show you guys what I got in the inventory. Uh, just as a fun, quick video, as I'm working on about three videos right now behind the scenes. And uh, got a lot of stuff coming up. It's getting busy. So... Uh, Let's have fun. I already cut up this box, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to cut these open here on camera, but I'm going to adjust the camera over to the booth here, and then what we'll do is we'll just look at these one by one. This actually isn't a P-Bandai. It's an old kit I showed in the last video from Macross, so uh, that's what I mean by some stuff that's different. Let's take a look at this other box, and then uh, what I'll do is... Most of the other ones have already been released, so to speak. And uh, after we open this box, I haven't even looked in this one yet. Then we'll go ahead and uh, check them out one by one. Individually. As I'm trying to reach from behind the camera. This is fun. Oh, there we go. All right, let's see what we got in here. Oh, hope I didn't cut anything, right? At least this stuff showed up in good shape. Get this knife out of here. My other stuff, boy, I'll tell you. It does not uh, please me when it shows up in rough shape. All right. Yeah, see, what I'm going to do is we're going to put these here behind me in the booth under better lighting. And, uh, oh, look at this. This is awesome. Oh, P. Bandai Real Grades. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, the regular stock that they release to the public is uh, is great, but I found a lot of these P. Bandai and these Gundam Bay stuff. Really beautiful, unique stuff that uh, I feel more of the general public should be able to get. But, um, yeah, let's go through some of these. I'm going to adjust the camera. I'm going to pause it now. We're going to go this way. We'll pull these out, and I have even more behind me. Um, you can see the stack there and behind me. So before I get you guys too dizzy, uh, let's go ahead and uh, let me adjust the camera, get on the better lighting, and uh, we'll go over these quickly one by one. All right, here we go. A Freet Jaeger MS-08 from Battle Operation Code Ferry. So a lot of these are from mangas and whatnot, not necessarily from uh, any of the animations and uh, that's how they end up getting these other suits you wonder where they're from they're actually they are official they're from uh, mostly from uh, manga that we uh, really get to see here in the US where I'm located all right now I have another Afrit here in the box Afrit knocked <clears throat> And oddly enough, this is from Universal Century. This Afrit does not say... Oh, they're both Universal Century, but this one's from the manga. This one is from, let's see... Uh, Molo Suit, Battlefield Record. Yeah, so... They're both from different animes or mangas. But in the same series, it looks like. Being the purple... I believe they are purple-colored. That's why the box is purple. All right, let me get these out of the way. Let's move on. Black Rider RX-80 BR. Same one. Battle Operation. Beautiful kit. Look at that. Gonna change the camera a little bit. Right, guys? Get more of the box in there. There we go. All right. Let's grab another one. All right. These are Gundam base. Let me show you. 
I tried to get two of everything so I can give them away, and Alien sent me two of these. Uh, these are from the Gundam base, and uh, it's basically the Mark II, but it's in alternate colors, and it comes with uh, alternate... It's gold and whatnot. It's not the standard colors of the Mark II. So, yeah, so it's pretty unique, and... Uh, these are only from the Gundam base. I got two, so I'll be doing. Uh, I'll be giving one of these away. Um, as I said, I'm going to try and get a few more of these P bandages to give away. It's a better prize than the standard stuff that you can see. I try to get a little more unique in the giveaways. So oh, there he is on the side, man. There we go. All right, let's continue on. All right, another Gundam base. Uh, what do we have here? Pale Rider, ground heavy equipment type, clear color. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's a nice clear color. The blue. That looks terrific. That's him. All right, one more in the box. This one isn't too rare. I haven't seen it. It is a red label of Bandai, which is uh, older, but I'm a big, big Star Blazers fan. Uh, Battleship Yamato or Yamato, how they say it. So, uh, yeah, I didn't have this one in the collection. Look at that. Beautiful ship. It's like one of the Cosmo Tigers. Any fans of Star Blazers out there? I grew up on the show. So when I saw that, I had to grab that. Some of these are really tough to get here now in the U.S. But uh, this is a good one. Even though it's 2119, which is from the more recent anime. And... Um, Actually, the sequel is coming this year. Really excited for that. All right, let me pause the camera and grab this other box. All right, we're back. Now, this looks like your standard oh, uh, wing, uh, zero custom, uh, special operation type. Now, this is a very obscure kit in that it's a special coloring uh, from a long time ago. And uh, the special color kits were really obscure back then. And uh, check this out. Look at that. So it comes in these plated colors. See it? And I thought that was that's pretty unique for an older kit. It's all like a silver plating, aluminum, and whatnot. And uh, see it? I thought that was pretty unique and uh, very obscure. I don't know if I can fit these tall boxes in the camera, but we're going to try. All right, we already showed you this, but I didn't hold it up. Black Tristar Zaku 2, the 6R1A, no pictures, huh? There he is there, look at that. Let's see, look quickly inside, beautiful. Nice, obscure, real grade there. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to hold him up. There we go. All right, let's move on. Mobile suit second V or second five. All right, what is that from? Uh, it's, um, it just says Universal Century. No pictures, but there we are. Looks like a little bit like the Victory there, something. That is awesome. This is a beauty. Sometimes you get a shot of what it looks like, but a lot of times it uses the standard instructions with a separate sheet for the alternate coloring. Let me put this up here so I can leave it here for you guys. There we go. Alright. Moving on. Uh, I haven't even seen these yet, guys. This is the first time I opened the box. Crosshair Gundam X. No. Is that an X? I don't even know what that is. Crossbone Gundam. Well, it says XO there. So, yeah, it didn't look like an X. <laughs> it looked like, uh, like the Turn A logo, you know? Oh, there he is. Oh, it's, it's a special coloring. Look at that. Do like I do like the crossbone design, but yeah, that looks like a special color. And yep, it's a plated silvery color. Yep, awesome. Now we're losing it all. Hold on, guys. Get, let's get this together here. It's funny that's the standing tall there, but it's a horizontal kit. There we go. All right. A lot of people don't realize the crossbone is Universal Century. All right, what do we got here? Gundam Marine Type. Marine Type. 
Gun Diver. Prototype Amphibious. From the origin. Great, uh, it's a great miniseries there. I saw it on Netflix. Beautiful animation. Tells the story of Char, Char's origin. All right. Let's move on. All right. I don't know uh, why I got this. Any of the older red ones, red logos, and I haven't seen it too often, I grab it. That's the Sego. Real good looking suit. Like the gin, I guess. This is an older kit. We'll definitely need painting on that one. From Seed. Oh, let's put it down. There we go. All right. There's one more in the box here. Uh oh. If I could fit this on camera. Oh my guys. This isn't. Oh, the Master Grade. Damn, I don't know if I can fit. Oh, almost fits. Hold on. Let me adjust the camera. There we go. Ale Calamity Gundam. GAT X130. Beautiful, beautiful suit. This thing is loaded. Wow, that is awesome. I don't know. Man, that is a beauty. Full mechanics. All right, I said master grade. Oh, sorry, guys. It's a full mechanics. From Seed Eclipse. All right. All right, guys, let me move these out of the way and grab a few more. All right, here we go. Continuing on. The more Universal Century limited item from Narrative. Silver Bullet Suppressor, but it's clear color. And uh, sealed up. It's a clear smoke, smoky black color. It's beautiful. I've seen it built, and it really is a, a beautiful clear, clear kit. All right, let's go. Oh, hold on. Extreme Gundam type Leo's Eclipse. Hey, Eclipse face. Here we, here we go. <laughs> oh, boy. What's it from? I can't read it. It just says Extreme. Is it on? This is from the video game, I think. Yeah, this is from the game. Now these are, looks like they, I got these in the American type package, well, the worldwide packaging, but I've never seen them anywhere. So uh, I grabbed these in an add-on for them. It's the Gundam Genimus, like Gemini, but Genimus, uh, 01 and 02. And check them out. They're beautiful kits, too. Oh, here we go. They're like two different colors, but similar in design. And check this out. Let me show you something here. And an add-on for them. Assault booster and the high mobility unit. So it comes with both, so I can put, put them on each one of them. So I got the two and the, the add-on parts, so to speak. I don't know if it even shows them. A little bit there. Don't want to go into too much detail because I just want to show the boxes off here for now. So that's them. All right. I got to pause it so I can reach back here for more guys. One second. All right. Not much to see in this one. This is a Deban Sandrock Custom. Oop, I lost my base here. And that showed up in rough shape. <laughs> but... Uh, I checked the inside, it, it's all fine, <laughs> but uh, it had a long trip, I guess, but uh, yeah, I get mad, all my stuff, my rare stuff, show, half of it shows up like this, and I just, I, I'm about to throw in the towel, but uh, I've had good luck recently, but uh, yeah, this is my sand rock custom, um, I already got the design, I'm going to paint this, I'm going to do it, uh, that purple scheme, that alternate color scheme that the sand rock has, but uh, yeah, there's not much to show you there, except the destroyed box all right here we go I don't know, from Gundam base hold on this is from Gundam Park Gundam Park 
and uh, Space Colony. This is a real grade. This showed up in rough shape, as you can see. But again, insides was fine. It's the uh, RX-93 Double F. And you can see how nice. He's quite a little bit different there. Different markings. Got a different weapon. Real nice, real grade that we don't get here in America. Yeah. All right. More from the Gundam base. Gundam base. All right. This is Dynamess in clear color. Check that out. This is the real grade Dynamess. Let me see if I can show you. You can't really see. It's a beautiful clear dark green on the armament and anything that's green. And uh, of course the white is all clear. But this this is a real. I'm not a big fan of certain clear kits. But this just has a wonderful look to it. Once it's built, this side shows Gundam base, where the kit came from. So yeah, I mean, this is an awesome clear color kit. All right, hold on. More from Gundam base, another master grade, and it is the Epion special coating. Now this one has the shiny red. Not sure how I grabbed this because uh, I could just paint the candy myself, but uh, again, it's more for the rarity of it all, I guess. It's beautiful when it's done. Epion's a nice design anyway. So, yeah, let's hold that up. Yeah, let's see. Leave it there for a sec. All right, let me grab that. Hi, all right, Barbatos. Master grade Barbatos. This is the Eco Pla. I believe these are made of uh, re the recycled plastics, and they're different. Obviously, it is. It's black and uh, neon blue. Let's see. Oh, another shot of them here. There's a whole lineup of these Eco Plas. I might have the rest. I got to go check the stash. They do the Exia, the Arc 78. I think there's one more. The Strike maybe. Let's put him up. He wants to fall, so we'll just hold him up. This is from Age. All right, Age Two. This is it. Doesn't say it here, but it, it says the Blanc, blank, meaning it's all white. It's a beautifully built kit. I've seen this built. It really is awesome. It's just got little touches of color, like dabs of red in it. I haven't decided what I'm going to use for the alternate colors, but I do like, I do like a lot of these all white suits. All right. Another one. Yeah. What we have here Justice. I do like the Justice. And it's the clear color Justice. Let's see if we can see the color here. Oh, yeah. All right. There we go. Grab another one. All right. All right, here we are from the Cosmic Era. Seed Astray. Load Astray. I do like the Astrays quite a bit. Try to show you the side. Let me show you my destroyed box. <laughs> you pay double for these. Take so you. You pay the uh, top dollar shipping, and that's what you get. Yeah, you get it. Yeah. Good luck. Lucky you got it. That's the answer you probably get. After I complain enough times, I stop complaining. All right. All right. All right, here we go. Oh, I forgot the name of her. Zia Hayo done and she has uh this awesome tiger that goes with her or lion <sighs> anything in the back no again this showed up in a little rough shape too oh that is heavy man there's a lot of parts in that thing i uh i think i saw it somewhere in the shelf and the shelf presence is really awesome 
me get him out of the way. I don't know this guy's name. Kind of looks like a transformer. I forgot his name. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know if it's a Genesis, but uh, you can see what I mean when it looks like a transformer. But this has a beautiful, this is, I believe it's a Chinese brand, but it's a beautiful metal frame uh, that you build around it. This is a massive amount of parts. <laughs> Took me a while to get this because I wanted the one with the metal frame. They offer it in two ways. Here's the metal frame. It comes two ways uh, without the metal frame for like 60 or 80 bucks less, I believe, something like that. <laughs> yeah, same on both sides. Is anything on the back? Nope, nothing on the back beautiful stand so you can hold all the parts so yeah I can't remember his name if you guys ask me in the comments below I'll look it up for you yeah there he is all right let's get him out all right we're getting there guys only a few left only a few left Manfred's mobile suit Bill Divers, I'm guessing? Yeah, Bill Divers. Yeah, genius headline. So this might have been a manga. Uh, no pictures to show you on the side, but check this out. It's a beautiful, beautiful suit. I think I saw this one assembled too, and it's a design that I love. Master grade Bill Divers, which is rare. I do have one right below the, the booth here that I'm filming this on. They, uh, Master grade bill divers, which is like I said, it's pretty obscure. All right, hold on, guys, almost done. All right, what do we got? We have Lightning Strike Gundam Enforcer Mobile Suit Master Grade. All right, let's get it for him. I got this from uh, Hasegawa, a great company also, Japanese model company. This is from Macross, again another Macross ship. They're just starting to reprint most of these now. If you guys are into Macross or you want a nice uh, ship like this, they're all shipping right now. If you, if you start looking for these uh, Hasegawa and type in Macross, you probably have a chance to get them. Just like uh, the Gaia Notes paint all of a sudden started showing up. These all of a sudden started showing up. You can tell they're in a reprint phrase. They've been out of print for a while, but uh, I think they're going to redo like all of them. Almost there, guys. Like three left. All right. Gundam Astray Noir. Dante. What is his name? Go to Gianni's. You think I get that? I'm Italian. Use mobile suit. Oh, wait a minute. We got pictures on this on the side. Look at this. This is rare. Oh, wait. That's not him. That's somebody else. Unless that's a suit it's based on. A stray. Yep. Let's put him up there. All right. All right. How do we got here? Three left. Three. Right. Blast Impulse. I might have shown him previously because the box was destroyed but the kit ended up being in good shape so I kind of lucked out there love this kit wait a long time for it too here is the judge zero gravity Moonlight Judge. This is a beautiful kit. Look at this. This guy is badass. Ready? Look at that. Hey, man, there's a lot of parts in there. All right. I think I got one more to show you. We can wrap this up. I have a lot more, but this is what I grabbed for the video. All right, this is full package edition. Here we go. 
assort, assemble. All right, the EXT GSEA. Estelave. Estelave. What, how do you say that, guys? Help me out. Estelive. Estelive. Anyway, look at this guy. Is this beautiful? Or oh, what? The gun is like the size of the box about. Maybe there's a... Hold on. There's a big handle here. Maybe there's a pitches on the back. I forgot. Oh, there is. There is. Hold on. All right. It's, my base keeps falling on you guys. Sorry, man. There you go. I don't know where I got him. USA Gundam, maybe? Or, uh... I don't know. If you guys ask me, I'll, I'll put up a link, or I'll try and put links up anyway. Um, blower. I got many of these. A lot of the P Bandai's came from America, believe it or not. And uh, that is it to show you guys for now. Um, yeah, I had a lot of questions of uh, a lot of the obscure kits that I have in the background. Sometimes uh, when I go in my other rooms, that's where I keep a lot of, even though a lot of it's here. I mean, I turn the camera here, you can see my wall here. A lot of my cars, a lot of my bikes are here and up there. Yes, I plan on building them. Um, I lost a stash years ago in a move. I lost everything assembled. Um, you see sometimes I have a yellow 300ZX I built from Tamiya in 1990. That survived. It looks brand new. It was, in, it was in a perfect storage. For some reason, it was in a different area and survived. Um, won't go into any details, but I, I lost a lot of stuff in a couple of moves. And then I had a tree fall in my, a house I was renting some years ago, and everything was destroyed up in the attic and uh, the bedroom. But, uh, yeah, I lost a lot of stuff. I lost a lot of my kits, so I started rebuilding. That's why you see so much. I didn't have this much in my stash. I had stuff built. So I, I just started buying and putting them back into a stash and uh, kind of a reactive, a little bit reactive. I, I went overboard trying to get everything back. And then some, but uh, I, I I will be 58 this year, so I, I'm you know I'm saying we're retiring soon. But if the channel goes onward and upward, and I hit that hundred thousand mark, I'm going to devote uh, probably full time to the channel. And at that point, we're going to stop building heavily. And uh, I got shelving in my new house going up now to put my stuff up, and uh, we'll we'll add that to the channel too. Is what we're going to do. I have a plan going forward. We have a plan, and that's why this, you see so many kits. And uh, that's what's going on. That's a little bit brief history. And uh, that's it. We have this. We have the booth. I have everything stacked up. And, uh, yeah, now you get to see my hands. Anyway, thanks, guys, for watching. Please like the video below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I have a lot of stuff coming up. I got some shelving units coming up. I got a brand new uh, airbrush coming in this week uh, I'm going to be testing. I got some colors I'm working on in the back. I got more stuff coming to me. Um, from I think Gallery is sending me some new equipment. They already have some new equipment, and it's tough to keep up. And I got some shelves. I got a new paint shaker. All kinds of stuff coming. We got probably three videos this week, and um, you guys are the best. I, I appreciate everything you guys have done. You just see my hands. Actually, my teeth have been done. I might, I might consider showing my face on camera at this point. Um, the dental surgery is done. Um, Anyway, you guys are terrific. You guys are the best. But please subscribe. We're trying to get those numbers way up. We're going to hit 70,000 hopefully this week. And at that point, we'll start giving some stuff away too. And uh, each milestone, we're going to give away stuff. Bigger and better. And uh, Anyway, guys, thank you so much. It's just a fun video. I wanted to show some of the obscure kits I have in my collection to you guys. And any questions about them, send me a link below. And if I can figure out where I got them from, I'll send you guys links and let you know where they came from. Anyway, that is all for now, guys. We will see you soon in the next video.